not. This is the greatest. So, okay, you guys, we have a new present we from Lori present. Lovato. Hey, Lori. She said, I thought you both would get a laugh out of the Make America Fart Again Trump <laughs> doll. <laughs> Did you do it? Hold on. Here's my next tweet. <laughs> I call it a twoot. Trademark. <laughs> she said. Hold on. Do it again. I'll make Mexico pay for that one, too. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I just stumbled across your podcast on Facebook in January. Now I follow you every day. I own a bar restaurant outside of Pittsburgh, and I tell everyone about you guys. Keep up the good work and keep us laughing. You guys are great. From Lori. Hey, Lori. From D&G Pizza. You guys, it's the farting Trump. You ready? Hold on. That was really, really incredible, I have to tell you. <laughs> we are going to be playing with this all the time. Oh, my God. We can't this stop. <laughs> One more. Was made in China. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, there's nothing better than a farting Trump. If you're ever in Pittsburgh. Hold on. Uh, excuse me, that was ISIS. <laughs> that was ISIS, you guys. I cannot. If you're ever in Pittsburgh, uh, make sure you stop by D&G Pizza and say hi to Lori. Yes. Because this was an awesome <laughs> present. I love it. It's the greatest. <gasps> Oh my I love god, it. I cannot deal. You guys, we did get to talk to Dennis Miller yesterday, which was super fun. But yes. his that episode will not be posted until a week from today. I also I did out. my Bernie voice. Yes. I said, <laughs> Dennis Miller! Dennis Miller. Why you gotta Miller? bring you Why do you gotta bring me into this, Dennis Miller? <laughs> and he I don't know if he knew what to do with that. Oh he, he knew. was like he uh, laughed at that. He did. He had his Dennis Miller chuckle with that. <laughs> so that was He's that so he's so dear. He's easy to talk to. He is. Just, very, very sweet. Fun. Very, and he pretended sweet. that he remembered us when I know. we were backstage it was in so Indy. so sweet. He's, he totally pretended. He's like, these, I totally remember you ladies. We had some laughs. We did. You, you and me. I know. <laughs> it was so sweet, even though we had no freaking clue who we were. <laughs> It's so sweet. It was really nice I of him know. to pretend. So sweet. Um, and today, big, big day on the radio show and the podcast. Because yes, today we're talking to Brandon Strock from um, Walk Away. Uh-huh. And Love him. He's going to be on our regular show from yep. 9 to 11 on WIBC.com. Mm -hmm. And then on the podcast that we're recording today and releasing tomorrow, David Harris Jr. is going to be joining us. Love him, too. So much love for all the people that we've been talking all to. the love! <laughs> Um, what, what first? We have so much, like, going on today. Well, the Trump rally is coming up. By the way, both of them are going to be at it. David Harris Jr. and Brandon Strzok, both, both going to be at the Tulsa oh, Trump we rally. we're going to ask them both about the rallies. Yeah, we will. We'll for sure <laughs> ask them about that. And whether or not they're going to sign a waiver and wear masks. I bet they will. They'll do the thing. You think they're, they're going to wear masks? Yeah, I mean, they'll do what they're... While they talk? No, I don't think they're talking. I think they're just going. Oh, they're just going. Maybe. Maybe they are talking. I don't know. I could be wrong. Yeah. We'll have to ask them. Okay. But in any case, Trump is getting a rash of crap for even having the rally because of the virus. I mean, can you even? It's just, it's Well, insane. people should just protest. Yeah, just make it a protest rally and then uh -huh. it's fine. Mm -hmm. But, P I mean, it's incredible the way, like I heard on um, Fox and Friends this morning driving in that... There are all these quotes from all these people saying it's just irresponsible given this pandemic oh, yeah. and totally you know so now in all of these states Trump that are having this spike yeah. and Trump is really bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's are you serious? Are yeah. you? And then they go and praise all these protests. Yeah, this. I mean, no. this, this is the media for you. <laughs> if if people are still looking at the media and going, oh, they're responsible and they're awesome, stop. Right. Just stop. Oh, by the way, the anti-crime unit, New York City, Dunzo. Did you hear that? They mm -hmm. just like decided, oh, 600 undercover cops that are actually really good at preventing crime or catching it before it happens. Yeah, because they're the ones who get to know all the bad people, right? Yeah. They get, they infiltrate, they get in there, right? With their plain clothes. They're like the Donnie Brascos, you know? <laughs> right. They're those guys. And they're they no get more. in there, they're going to, they're like, mm, we're not, we don't need them anymore. We want you right? to have uniforms. We want the criminals to know in advance yeah. when you're about to stop them from criminalizing. We'll see how well this works works out this is so dumb this is so so reactive well, and dumb i don't live there man 
Thank, Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, sorry I don't live there. If you're in New York City. Uh, yeah, we're really sorry if you live there. Sorry. We're sorry for so many reasons if you live there. <laughs> that and Seattle, guess, man. First cause... of all, it's really crowded in New York City. And it smells like urine. I'm not going to lie. We've been there several times. And, and this is how you eat in it's restaurants. It's like this. It's like, oh, it's so good. And that's with people that you're not mm. eating with, right? So like, good. this is how close this you have to be. tiny meal is really good. Yeah, exactly. And then when you go back to your hotel, you get bed bugs. It's true. She did. I got them. I didn't, mm -hmm. but but I don't know why. Don't like it. Sorry. I'm sure you love it. There's some people that love it. I have, like, family members who love it. They love to go, hey, let's go to Manhattan on vacation. Nope. Mm -mm. <laughs> no. 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 It's not one of our favorite places. Mm -hmm. I mean, we'll go um, if invited. And for paid. Whatever. If I'm paid to go. <laughs> I don't want to go there. I'm not going. Um, but we're not ever going to live there. No. So, okay, so there's, like, a... I just there's can a we big talk deal. about can we just mention Howard Stern really yes, quick? Yes. Cause this it, it just seriously, so this guy wears blackface in the nineties, right? Like the real kind. Like, like the legit minstrel show kind. And uses the N-word several times. This guy does this. Mm -hmm. He's called out now, right, for doing this. Because this is what we do now. Yeah. Well, I mean, everybody's doing it. Everybody's calling out everybody, ex except for if you're Governor Northam, you still have a freaking job. Yeah, nobody's asking for Nobody cares. Because, you know, he's a Democrat, so he gets a pass. Democrats get a pass for this, right? I think Trudeau gets a pass, too, doesn't he? Didn't Trudeau do it? For black, yeah. He, he did he it, like, at least three times that we know of. <laughs> yeah. How do you do it three times? What? And <laughs> anyway. All right. So Howard Stern, he did it. Um, he was called out. And now he's blaming Donald Trump Jr. Because <laughs> he's saying Donald Trump Jr. is the one that dug up the old footage. Well, so and, it's his he, fault. It's yeah, Donald it's Trump fault. Jr.'s fault. And, it, and apparently Donald Trump Jr. made him say on The View, no, I've never used the N-word. That was Donald Trump Jr.'s fault that can, he lied you, on The View. Can you believe this guy? <laughs> I, I swear. <laughs> I mean, if, if anybody should be canceled, it's him. He's not going to get canceled, though, you guys. Because he's a Democrat. He's not. He's a liberal, mm -hmm. so he won't get canceled. Nope. He he's, won't. People are unbelievable. Um, so I suppose we should mention this big Supreme <laughs> Court thing yeah. that happened. So it was a 6-3 to three ruling um, saying that you cannot be fired for being gay or transgender. Um, which is going to be complicated for religious institutions that don't believe in that sort of thing. Um, complicated. But, is I mean, a, who complicated cares, right? is a good word, right? Complicated is a nice. You're being very <laughs> nice. It's complicated because listen, if you're a Catholic, and st if you're a Catholic school, and you know you preach a doctrine, right, that it says that you know you don't believe in in the gayness. you don't believe in homosexuality, which is your right as a as a Catholic institution. I'm just using that as an example. Um, you know, and then somebody wants to, you find out that somebody on your staff is gay and you're like, okay, well, you know, we don't want to be hypocrites. So we're going to go ahead and fire you. And we are like, it's like you're, they're a private school. I feel like they should be able to do that. It's just my personal opinion. It's, they should be able to do that. Right. It's just surprising that Neil Gorsuch <laughs> sided with the majority on this one. That was a surprise. It's a blow to uh, freedom of religion, isn't it? I mean, I mean, it kind of is. I don't know how you, I don't know how you get around that. You yeah. know what I mean? And then the cases that the Supreme Court is like just deciding not to hear is also very weird. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on with our Supreme Court, man. I, I had higher hopes for it. Yeah. Than this. Yeah. Um, what else? <laughs> And listen, don't, don't, I know we're going to get lots of mail and people saying, oh my God, you're homophobic. I'm not homophobic. No, we just you believe do you. in freedom I just, of religion. I also, but I believe in freedom of religion. And I, and I get a little concerned when I see stuff like this because, you know, I don't. <clears throat> Someone said, yeah, so just don't hire them, which is absolutely right. And, and that's exactly what's going to happen, right? There's going to be way more stringent background checks into everybody yeah. before they're hired which people aren't going to want to deal with this totally crap which is the way it should be i totally agree so that's going to happen um also <clears throat> what else yes howard stern is still alive he's still oh my alive. god this chubba hubbard stuff did you see the chubba hubbard stuff the chubba hubbard this guy oh my god so this canadian dude this kid that's supposed to be playing for oklahoma, oklahoma state, state. 
he tweets out a photo of his coach, the Oklahoma State coach, who's on just a fishing trip, right, with some buddies, uh -huh. wearing a T-shirt that is o that says OAN, the, the TV station. Yeah. That's it. That's the big crime of the coach. Chubba says, I will not stand for this. This is completely insensitive to everything going on in society, and it's unacceptable. I will not be doing anything with Oklahoma State until things change. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Who's, wait, who's, That's his coach. The coach is wearing OAN. Yes, that's it. That's the end of the and story. And then who's pissed off? The, the player. The, the player the that's supposed to be the off running back. Because he's wearing an OAN shirt. That's correct. So he was going to boy, boycott his own program and, over a t-shirt that his coach was wearing on a fishing trip. That's not even, I mean, it's just a TV station. So it's basically like wearing a Fox News shirt. Yeah. In essence, that's right. what that is. And or so, a CNN shirt. Or any other TV station yeah, shirt. Yeah, so he's pissed off because it just doesn't happen to be the, the network that he watches. Exactly. And and so now, this is where we are, is that you can't wear the t-shirt emblazoned with a TV station. Yes, because America's becoming communist. What do you think happened, though, you guys? What did I see this morning? He apologized. The coach and Chubba together on a video, both kind of apologizing, <sighs> but mostly the coach saying, now I understand, and there's going to be some big changes. Oh my yeah. gosh. And Chubba saying, well, you know, I recognize that I should have gone straight to him instead of tweeting about it. Yeah, you big jerk. What? Is this real name Chubba? Chubba Hubbard. Chubba Hubbard? I tweeted the meanest thing at him, you guys. And what it got retweeted so many times. What? Like, did you tweet about his name? I didn't tweet about his name. I said, if you're going to play a man's sport, then grow a set. This is a t-shirt with a network name it's on true. it. It's true. It's true. Oh, my God. Yeah. And so I that that sort of took off a little bit bigger. I don't know. I there are a lot of dudes that play football now that act like complete little girls. Re I mean, seriously. Yeah. I mean, I d there are a lot of dudes. That My play. husband then tells me, well, um, he maybe end up playing for Georgia. There's some like chitter chatter about that. God, I was that's like, so I can't root for him. I will never root for someone so that awful. sad. Right? God. Chubba Hubbard, you would. Well, I'm glad he's not playing for Tennessee. <laughs> God. Good Lord. I just couldn't believe that when I saw it. And I was like, look at look at that. I am interested somewhat in a sports yeah, story. Yeah, I mean, sort of. Wow. <laughs> hard, he's having a hard time getting in this morning. No. <laughs> hey, Rob. Yeah, right? Good, Good morning. Right. You remember that we have to talk to Brandon at 8. Hey, Rob, we have a farting Trump. You're going to love this. What? It's a that farting Trump. so wrong. <laughs> and his hair goes up when he farts. Yeah, look. Look, it's a farting trap. Take this, Putin. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see what I guess? Hold on. This is my next tweet. <laughs> I call it a twoot. Trademark. <laughs> Trademark. You want to see? You want to play with them? No. No, you, you don't want to play with them? Wow, I thought okay, that would be wow, my favorite man, thing. That was from Lori. Okay. Wait, is that? Did I get that right? Yeah, football. The, football Boy, players yes. are becoming giant wusses. Oh my god, the Chubba Hubbard thing. I'm so oh. mad. Giant, you know, giant like, wusses. You know, sports person. Well, you? We're, we'll tell him after. Okay. We've already told the story. All right. Who is it? It's a <laughs> running back. Anyway, right. um, um, we're also talking about we're talking what hair. We, we're talking about short talking hair. about short hair versus long hair. I cannot believe. How Apparently, long she's was. gonna get coronavirus, and I'm not because of my hair. Because length. my hair is short. Although I don't know if my hair is long enough to qualify as totally. long. You're gonna be diseased. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm not because her hair is luxurious and long. <laughs> luxurious. This is what some some. I don't know, lady said about how bobbed hair, if you have bobbed hair like mine, you know, mine's kind of bobbed. If you, yet, have, you have hygienic yet trendy. That's what they call that's it. That's what they call hygienic it. Hygienic yet trendy. Yeah. This is the dumbest oh article. Oh my God. It's the dumbest thing ever. I and mean, I've seen some dumb stuff. Pages long, you guys. Well, it was like, not the New York Post. It was the, um, it was like a, it was a mirror or one of those like foreign tabloidy things. I mean, we've seen but some it was dumb pages. stuff. But this is the dumbest thing. This is if, pretty dumb. If you have short hair as a woman, <laughs> you're going to be better off because it's hygienic and you don't have to wash it as often. Is that what they're saying? I, I wash my hair every day. I think it has something to do with the fact that you don't, when you blow dry longer hair, there's like more chance of like spread. I don't know. It's so dumb. It's dumb. It's so dumb. What yeah, because it takes longer to blow dry. And so that means you're there longer. So you have a longer chance to infect your hairdresser or vice versa. And so if you have a short haircut, then whoosh, you're done. 
<laughs> so dumb. Which is fake news, totally, because I take approximately 45 seconds to dry my hair. And, I and take she takes way forever. I take so, way longer. Because I have a lot of curl in my hair. And, and she I dries it and out. I straighten it. Yeah, my and hair. And I just dry. I would look like sideshow Bob <laughs> if I didn't if I didn't straighten my hair out, y'all. I should wear it curly tomorrow, just so y'all can see how I look like sideshow Bob. <laughs> For real, it's like, whoo, yeah. <laughs> um, I, we're also gonna be talking about new polling that says Joe Biden is totally gonna steal to win this election, like hands down. He's way ahead of Trump in every category. Yeah, blah, blah, I mean blah, he's blah, gonna blah, win blah. just like Hillary's gonna win. Meanwhile, do y'all believe that million tickets? At the Tulsa thing, a uh -huh. million people want to get tickets to a 20,000 seat stadium. Try that, Joe Biden. I'd yeah. like to see you pull in those kind of numbers. He'd be lucky if he could get 300 people in a room. I'd like to know if y'all think that um, Joe Biden's going to win this election. Weigh in. I want to see in the comments. Be honest. Yeah, be really honest. Like, just search deep in your soul. Yeah, and tell us. What and not you just think. who you want to win, but like who you think will win. Marsha's going to the cake bake shop on Thursday. <gasps> Get the salmon. The salmon is out of this world. And, and then just, try the millionaire cake. And the cake is this big. Like, I can't even so fit it good. in the screen. I can't fit it. God, it's so good. It's it so is. Good. And <laughs> she always says, I can save some and take it home. <laughs> Amateur. <laughs> I mean, it's really big. It yeah. depends on the si the cake that you get. Some of yeah. them are bigger than others. Eat it all. <laughs> um, all sports are political now. Yeah. It's a shame. Yeah. I it, mean, it's it really bad. Be, it used to be that you could just go to a, a, a sports whatever. You go to any sort of game and just watch the game and enjoy it with your friends. And now it's like... It's all a big political spectacle. It's ridiculous. Everything is political. And now, you know, like the, what's that NFL commissioner named? Robert, G Roger, G Goodell. Roger Goodell. He's yeah. now saying that a team should hire Kaepernick because everybody's going to be kneeling anyway. And <laughs> so he's really the well, starter of he, all this. What if he's not good? I, I mean, don't it, think that matters it, anymore. Doesn't it have to do with whether or not you're good? I mean, it should. But it doesn't, because now everybody's looking at Kaepernick like, look what you started, you're such a hero. I don't think that he's good enough to be oh put God. on a team, is he? Yeah. Nobody's talking about, oh wait, I think it's going to be close, but I still think Trump will win. No chance, silent majority are keeping quiet. Okay. We are way, way related no to way. Joe. Mm -hmm. He can't think straight. No, I don't think he can think straight either, but it doesn't, it doesn't stop people yeah. from liking him. No, it doesn't I think he has him. obvious dementia, but I still think that people are are gonna vote for him. And people are still trying to get this whole mail-in thing. Mm -hmm. They're gonna say, oh, the virus, you know, you can't stand in lines anymore. And I also don't think that he, if he is the nominee, I don't think that he will be the, if say he wins, I don't think that he will actually be the president. My theory is that they'll have whoever the vice president will be, will be they'll, they'll end up saying, Joe can't run the country, we're gonna go ahead and let him step aside, and then the person who's the VP will be the president. I Which know. is why he's saying the VP he chooses needs to be ready to be president day one. He said that. Out he loud. said it. Yeah. His words. Yeah. And I, you know, we still don't know who that's going to be because he's not saying until August. The mayor of Atlanta. I mean, it could be. Yeah. Could be. Which again, Biden bottoms. I just don't think that's a good slogan. It's a great bumper sticker. <laughs> it really is. Biden, Biden bottoms. Biden bottoms. All right. Okay, we probably need to get going. Yeah, because we got to go talk to Brandon. Yeah, we're doing a pre-record with Brandon, you guys. And you'll hear that if you listen to our regular radio show from 9 to 11 on WIBC. .com. We'll tell him that you said hello. Yeah, we can yeah, do that. We'll do we can that. say all y'all. And we'll spend more time here tomorrow, I think, because we'll have a little bit more time tomorrow, I believe. Yeah, it's we, been a busy couple days, man. Yeah, yesterday and today have been kind of crazy busy, but we'll be able to chill out a little bit more tomorrow. Do you guys want one more fart? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'll give you one more fart. I'll make Mexico pay for that one, too. <laughs> there you go. And then a goat for the road. Mm -hmm. And then maybe a little bit of BS. Whoa, watch your step. You just walked into some bullshit. There you go. All right, you guys bring it in. <laughs> bring it in. You guys have a great Tuesday. Bye. Bye.